What's up home slice, Lucas here. Flips are super cool, but just sending a straight up inverted flip can be very scary. However, there are some horizontal spinning flips that don't always require you to go completely upside down and or are not as scary. Also, these spinning tricks look super cool and with the hacks that I am going to show you in this video can be learned easily. Pay attention by the end of this video you will have the knowledge and skills necessary to hack and learn these five spinning tricks fast. But you gotta focus. Before we get started, if you ever feel discouraged when learning spinning tricks and flips, just revert back to practicing your simple standing 360s, 540s, 720s, and so on. Just doing this will improve your spinning tricks severely. Okay, let's get into the five spinning tricks you can learn that are not as scary as ordinary flips. Number one, the ultimate hack full. This is derived from the classic back full, but is so much easier to do because you are completely cheating almost half of the turn of this flip. However, for some reason, it still looks pretty cool. So unlike a typical gymnastics back full, you will not be going over the back and then turning. You will be doing something similar to a tricking back full where you go horizontal to the side. However, we cheat it even more. I start my hack full already turned 90 degrees into the spin. Then before I jump, my upper body is already looking over towards the spin, making it a full 180 degrees before I even leave the ground. All that is required is a complete turn in the air, around, and land. If it is done just running into it, it looks like I'm setting up for a side flip, but I turn my body, wrap it around, and over. I typically find it easiest to get momentum for these hack fulls out of cartwheels. <laughs> I mean crap wheels. This move can be easily learned on a trampoline, probably one of the easiest spin tricks to learn on the trampoline. But also great if learned on the ground, it doesn't even need to be horizontal at first to get the feeling for it. You can totally melt this with just a slight slanted twist and slowly lean into it over time. If the hack full was a little much, don't worry, stick around. I've got some more spinning flips, maybe even easier to learn, but just as cool, if not cooler. Number two, the Gainer Arabian. This flip looks so cool, but is so easy, I just had to include it in this video again. Not only is this one of those tricks where you can slowly go into it without just sending, it's one of those moves where you never have to go completely upside down and it still looks cool. Work on the simple J step. Swing through with your swinging leg towards your opposite shoulder. Follow that momentum up and around. If you face the same way you came from, you just did a cheat gainer. But if you're too afraid of going completely upside down in the cheat gainer, all you need to do is follow that momentum through in the turn just a little more and come out of it facing the opposite way. Then you have a Gainer Arabian. Trippy, looks cool, super easy. That's why I had to include this in this video. Okay, I know, I just regurgitated this flip from the five easy flips you can do video without just sending. Check that video out if you want to. Now because I overlapped, I am now going to include a bonus. Spinning kicks. Whether it be the 540, cheat 720 or something greater. Spinning kicks are a great way to work on your spins without inverting. Then whenever desired you can lean more when doing your spinning kicks and make them more horizontal looking more like a flip. For the 540 you want to pivot into it, jump off the front foot driving the back knee up. Then with that front foot you want to bring it around, kick it over, up and down. You can ease into this kick by just doing the spin at first, and then slowly adding the kick in, which is the hardest part. You can also learn the 720 with the hook, and so on. There are a ton of kicks. Check out Kojo's Trick Lab for all the kicks, all the tricks, all the flips. Link in the description. Seriously, don't neglect kicks. I did in the past. They look super cool, and they add a wide variety to your tricking arsenal. 
Moving on with number three. The ease of landing of a backflip with the confidence of a front flip. The front half, or the side 90 if you decide to go into it a little more sideways. It's up to you. This is probably one of the easiest moves to learn on the trampoline, because if done right, you can spot the trampoline the entire time. An option that might make it easier. Because I am spinning towards my left shoulder, I can start with my right foot out slightly when I go into this flip turn. This just starts me into the turn already. Whether learning on the trampoline or the ground, you want to jump up and then tuck in towards that opposite knee, bringing your hips around and over. On the trampoline, it's easier to spot the ground the entire time, but on the ground, it can be done so as well. Landing is a lot easier and less harsh than a front flip because you get to land backwards. And is why I honestly think learning the back flip is easier than the front flip, it's just more scary. So if you want the best of both worlds, learn the front half. Number four, it's not an A twist, it's not a B twist. I was gonna call it a C twist, but we're calling it an H twist for hack. A B twist involves an exaggerated, sophisticated dip. An A twist is simply an aerial with a twist. Both look very similar, but are different flips. Now the H twist is neither. There is no dip, but there is no aerial. It's nobody's flip. What do you think about that, Lance? It's an amazing spin. This move can be learned by first doing a 360 and then a 540, and then acting like you're going to go into a B twist with your front foot forward. However, spinning into a 540, landing facing the way you came from. Then you can slowly start to turn this flip more horizontal by using the leg that kicks up in the back to drive your pelvis up horizontally to meet your body. There is no dip required and there is no aerial required. Heck, you know what? Someone probably already named this some official name. I just like H twist. The beautiful thing about the H twist, the B twist and the A twist are very similar. You basically got the core main hard part down. The feeling, that twisting motion. B twist, just add that exaggerated fancy dip. A twist, just dive deep into that aerial. Learning the H twist way, in my opinion, makes learning the spin horizontally so much easier and then learning the B twist and or the A twist so much easier. All right guys, and finally, oh, I had to do it, the Arabian. <laughs> yes. So the Arabian is just a great move, just great. You know, it takes kind of the fear of the backflip and then adds the harsh of the front flip. So it's almost the worst of both worlds. However, if you hack this move, you can make yourself do a less scary backflip with the nice little turn. It can be easily done on the trampoline, but also can be done on the ground. This is very, very unscary because when doing this, you set up hack flip style, which means you get to spot the ground the entire time. You do so by picking a shoulder and looking over that shoulder at the ground. You basically then whip yourself into a backflip, which many will say is the wrong way to do a backflip. Sure. But you whip yourself into this backflip and then spotting the ground, you can choose to put your hands down at any time. You follow into the turn as you rotate slightly in the air. On the ground, it might be hard to go a full 180. That's okay. It's a Arabian. Not an Arabian, it doesn't matter. On the trampoline, it's more likely you'll get a full turn. But boom, there you go, you flipped in the air. It wasn't scary, but it looked sick, as in cool sick. Wow, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it was inspiring and entertaining at the least. I hope you learned something. Remember, always practice safely and go at your own pace. With that being said, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I have more flips, as always, we can hack. More things we can learn. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to thank you all so much for your positive support and feedback. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.